Street Summers with Keno right here on Rejoice 1023. You know, we do it just like this each and every Friday night from 6.30 to 10 p.m. We bang you outside the head with nothing but that heat, man. And right now, in the stew with me. Yeah. Yeah. You just heard his song, Push, yeah. just went off. That was it right there. Loving that joint, man. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank yes, you. sir. Yes, sir. You may know him as one half of Sons, Sons of the, of the Most, Most High, High, but right now he's definitely doing his solo thing and killing it. Y'all give it up and help me welcome my homie, the architect. Yo, yo, yo. What's going on? What's going on? Yeah, man. Hey, I'm, I'm so happy for you, bro. Thank you. Thank definitely you. still doing your thing, man. Sounding okay. good, man. Loving that push, man. Where'd that come from? You know what? I actually... Honestly, man, I've been sitting on that record for like four years. Really? Man. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I recorded it, and when I recorded it, it just felt so good that I didn't just want to put it out for anything. Yeah. So I had to wait till I got a moment, you know, to really put it out and really get behind it. Okay. And uh, I started working on my album, and it was a good lead for it. Yeah. And I put it out there, and it's just been picking up, man, and growing legs on its own. So yeah. And it's it's feel, feel real good, and it's a real, real good feeling for the album, too. I like that, man. Thank Life you. can make you dumb. Yeah. You know, and, and it came at a time, man. It came at a time, like, the whole song is true. It, it was right after the birth of my first son, uh, you know. And it was like a moment where I, I was having, you know. It was like when you just sitting there and you just trying to figure out how you just going to make everything come to me. Right. You know, ends, you got bills, you got kids, you yeah. got all this family. And it's like, how? You know, you can't you can't stop because now it's not just about you anymore. Exactly. You know, it's about you got other people that depend on you. Yeah. And that's what I had to uh, understand. Yeah. You know, so it was, it was a ministry and testimony to myself. Yeah, that's good, man. I mean, uh, people from all walks of life will say that once you have kids, yeah. You know, <laughs> make you grow up real oh, yeah. quick. It ain't about you no more, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> At all. Like, it ain't crazy. about you no more. Got another mouth to feed. Yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Yeah. So, so clearly that's the first single. Um, yeah. An, an album coming, man? Album coming. When can we expect it? Uh, I'm, I'm, right now it's late summer. Okay. Late summer. It's called Heart of a Champion. Nice. Yeah. That's what's up, yeah. man. And, and it's the whole album is it's, it's encouraging, just like Push is. Yeah. You know, it talks about the ups and downs, you know. To become a champion, champion, you gotta go through something. Absolutely, you know, and it's not all sweet. Yeah, you know, it's it's a fight, and that's what the whole album is. You know, it takes you to the, it, it starts off with with the, the, the fight, the push. Right. You know, then it takes you through the, the some of the downs, some of the the hard times that you go through in life, losing people. Yeah. Uh, loving people and then losing people again. Right. You know, and then actually. The celebration period where you think you made it, but then it's the fall down again. You know, it's, so it's like a roller coaster, okay. and how life really is. You know, that's, and that's the only way you can become a champ is to keep on going. Absolutely. Now you said something, man. You talked about uh, pain right there. You yeah. talked about uh, hurt. You talked about going through some things. Uh, you even talked about celebrating, man. Yeah. Now, now we got the uh, the the what is this? Celebration Which one is this, life. man? Yeah. Which one is this? The 12th, 12th annual. Twelve annual. Dude, been we doing it for twelve. Here. It don't yeah. seem like that. Twelve, 12 years. years of celebration of life. Uh, it's, it's where you um, put on all kind of different situations, you know, for the community. Yeah. And um, it's coming up, man. It's coming up yeah, next week. Coming up. June. June. Yeah. June is uh, June 9th uh -huh. through the twelfth. And um, this year, it's, it's, it's a four-day weekend. We kick it off on Thursday. And what we do is Glow Fit. This year is called Spread the Glow. Okay. And Spread the Glow is just saying that everybody has a light to shine. Yeah. You know, and that's what we want to do this year is encourage everybody to let their light shine so that we all can be that that beacon for God. You Absolutely. Know? People are in need. People are hurting right now. And they're looking for somewhere to go. They're looking for people to reach out to. And all of us have that inside of us to give to somebody, yeah. you know, and, and to be able to minister to somebody and reach somebody because everything that we go through, we go through for a reason. Right. And it's people that need to know because they're hurting Absolutely. and they don't know how to come out of it. Yeah. So we kick it off with uh, our glow fit and self-defense. We're doing glow in the dark fitness. <laughs> glow in the dark fitness. Sounds dangerous. Something dangerous, <laughs> something new, something different. You know, so we want everybody to come out, get your workout on. We're going to have Zumba. We got line dancing. Okay. We're going to have um, yoga. We're going to have sports, oh, a straight sports workout. So it's nice. like, this is going to be groups of people. <laughs> and it's just going to be like, man, ridiculous where you come out 
And we're going to have sports trainers out there that's going to be like, okay, here, over here you do this, over yeah. here you do that. All right, switch. And it's going to be like competition kind of. That's good. You know, so it, it's definitely something that's different for the community. Then we're going to go to Friday. We got Hooping for the Hope. We got different celebrities from around the city, actors, singers, nice. rappers, whoever you name it, uh, city officials coming out to be a part of this basketball game. Okay. Uh, Saturday. We got a Save Our Streets block party in the park, and we're doing a live concert out there uh, with artists such as myself, um, and there's some other artists from around the city, uh, okay. D Froze, uh, Breathe Easy, Breathe. just to name a few, yeah. and um, it's all taking place at Dalton Park. Okay. All of it's taking place at Dalton Park. Thursday is at the Field House, Friday is in the Recreation Center, and Saturday is outside of the stage. Nice. So it's, everything is free. Everything is free. You can go to our website, www.celebrationoflifefoundation.org. Everything's spelled the way it's supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> www.celebrationoflifefoundation.org. And you can get all the information on there. And, um, man, we just ready for it. Yeah. Know? That's what's up. Now, now listen, man. I wanna um, tell you what I wanna do. Let's let's take a break, man. Because yeah. because uh, we, we we were about to get into it. I wanna really get into it, man. Uh, okay. Where this came from and oh, where yeah. where your passion for community came from and your passion to do this, you know. Because like you were saying that, you know, we often go through different situations, right, and trials, right, and tribulations, right. and it's not necessarily just for us but uh -huh. it's to help somebody else to to encourage somebody else to bless somebody else whatever and you went through some things oh, and, yeah. which was the spark of this whole initiative and uh, I want people to hear your story man for those that don't know it because it's a very powerful story and it kind of gives the background of why you're doing a celebration mm -hmm. of life so y'all hold tight we'll be right back with the homie the architect right after this I ain't going nowhere. Yeah, I got my brother in the studio yeah. uh, as I said earlier you may know him as one half of the sons of the most high but he's definitely on his solo thing right now y'all yeah, yeah. is the architect brother. Yeah, shout, yeah, shout out, shout out to Shout out to my brother Pete, man, all the way out there in AZ. What's up with you, boy? I'm holding it down for you. Yeah, man. Now, you know, you know, whenever a group, you know, does not continue doing music <laughs> together or something like that, you know, you know, people get to talking. Oh, I heard yeah, what happened man. was she, he slapped him, and then they was like, I ain't doing music with you no more. Like, so it's no beef, y'all. It's not. We, we good. good. We good. Okay. We actually, uh, we we got a lot of stuff together. We got okay. a lot of music, and yeah. it's just we've been we've been recording so long. Okay. You know what I'm saying with yeah. each other. It's been man, well over ten years now. Yeah. So we finally getting the opportunity to do our own thing. Right. You know, it's kind of like Outkast. You know, they record so long together. You yeah. Know, you have your own ideas and your own uh, emotions and feelings you want to get out. Right. And it's kind of hard to do when you, <clears throat> excuse me, when you're in the group because yeah. it's, it's like. You know, you gotta share. Right. You gotta you gotta share ideas. So sometimes you wanna be selfish. Music <laughs> like your baby. You wanna be selfish at least a time or two. Yeah. You know, but no, it's definitely not the end of uh the music that you're gonna hear from us. That's what's up. He's actually done some production for me and uh he's on some of the music too. I don't know if he made the album yet. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm still trying to see, see but uh, he, yeah, if he made the cut, <laughs> but he, he's definitely on a lot of future stuff that I got coming out. Good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, I forgot what station it was. I was listening to something the other day, and uh, the joint that, that y'all did with uh, Kiara came on. Oh, yeah. I'm like, that's my dogs! Yeah. That's my dogs! Yeah, that, that, was a good, that was a good time. Shout out to Kiara, too. That's like my, like my little sister right there. Yeah, that was man. A good time. Yeah, so. Uh, before we went to break, man, we, we uh, were talking about, um, of course, the celebration of, uh, of life initiative that you have going on. It's yeah. coming up uh, next week. Um, June 10th through the 11th. Yes, sir. And, uh, and we were just about to get into uh, where you got the, the passion for that, to do that, uh, the passion for the community. And, and you had said something uh, very key that oftentimes we go through things that aren't necessarily just for us. Yeah. Um, but it's also to impact and touch the lives of somebody else. So, man, take us back, man, to why and, and where this whole celebration of life situation came from. Ah, okay. Well, like I said, it's, uh, this is our, our 12th annual year. So uh, about 13 years ago now, man, it still seemed like yesterday. Um, May 31st, wow. actually, was the date uh, I was an innocent victim of gun violence mm -hmm. on the south side of Chicago. Um, just hanging out with friends and car came down the block, no words, and that's that's the thing, man. No words were said, no gang signs, no anything. 
And, you know, it was a, just a group of guys who felt like they knew who I was or thought I was somebody else. Mm -hmm. And um, as we were leaving, one of the guys came out, got out of the car and came up the gangway and I uh, just started firing 27 shells on the ground, 18 holes in my car. I was hitting both legs, my shoulder and in my face. Um, I managed to pull off and that's when I knew I was hit. My face just went numb. And uh, I got maybe about a block block away. The guy was still shooting. And uh, I turned and crashed. And at that moment, uh, my bro, he was with me, people was with me, and we got out of the car. And we running down the street, you know, and uh, bleeding everything. Yeah. And everybody on the street that evening turned their backs on us. Wow. You know, no nobody wanted to help. And that right there, it, it stirred something in me, you know, where to the point where I was like, this is ridiculous. Yeah. You know, how could we be in a city like this, this big, full of all of these people where nobody wanted to help? Right. You know, and then I, I looked at everything that's going on and it's like, somebody got to do something. And it was either I go back in the neighborhood and I retaliate, mm -hmm. or I try to do something to help the next person that goes through the same situation. And to me, one thing I feel like we lack as a community is that love that once was there. Absolutely. It used to be a moment in time where you used to go on your block and everybody knew everybody. Right. You know, now it's like you go on the block and you don't even know the person that lived next door to you. That's true. You know, and that's one thing that we're missing. And with the Celebration of Life Foundation, that's what we go into the neighborhoods to do. We put on free events so that you can come out and you can hang out with your people and you can get to know them. Right. You can afford to bring your family out because it's free. And then we, at the events, we feeding people. Right. You know what I'm Everybody saying? Like free food. <laughs> you know, we, we feed people <laughs> for you to bring your family out and just come out and hang out. Yeah. And that's that's what my heart is. My heart is with that man. I done lost so many cousins. I done lost friends to this violence out here. Yeah. I done been robbed in front of my house. I, it's, it's so many things that didn't happen and that continue to happen out here in these neighborhoods. And people study being quiet about it. Right. You know, and, and that's one thing that hurts me is this no snitching thing that we keep talking about. Right. You know, and it, it and it, and people got it mixed up because it ain't it ain't even about if you see something, don't say nothing. Right. You know, it's that ain't snitching. That's not snitching. <laughs> that's protecting your community and right. protecting your family. Yeah. You know, and that's what we gotta do. We gotta we gotta rebuild our courage and rebuild yeah. our heart for our people so that we can understand what it is and what it takes to continue to grow in our in our area that we in. Absolutely, man. You said it right there. Y'all, listen, I want everybody listening to to get behind this initiative, uh, to get behind the Celebration of Life Foundation. Uh, once again, the events are happening uh, this coming Thursday, June uh, 9th through... Well, you're even inviting people to church on yeah, Sunday. Yeah, come out to church on Sunday. <laughs> yes, sir. So, Valley um, Kingdom Ministries International, what's up? No doubt. Now, where can people find out more information? We're telling them maybe we're going a little too fast. Where yeah. can they go to the website? Uh, you can go to the website, okay. www.celebrationoflifefoundation.org. Okay. Spelled just the way it's supposed to be. <laughs> www.celebrationoflifefoundation.org. Okay. And all of the information is up there. You can find out who's performing. Yeah. You can find out who's playing in the game. You can find out all that information on the website. Sweet. That's yeah. what's up. Now, where can people get at you, man? They might oh, the you architect. Now, now, that's not spelled right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You, you can find anything on me, thearchitect.com. That's T-H-E-A-R-K-U-T-E-C. T-H-E-A-R-K-U-T-E-C. Dot com and you can get all the latest music coming up. Like I said, I got an album coming out this summer called The Heart of a Champion. Yeah. And uh, it's, it's something, if you like Push, you definitely gonna like the next stuff that I got coming out. Definitely. Yes, sir. Definitely. Yes, sir. Definitely. And I'll put all that information up on the uh, Street Sermons Facebook Facebook page so uh, y'all can go over there. And the Street Sermons is not spelled right. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sermons with a Z. So Facebook. You know, this is hip hop thing. Yeah, yeah, no, you know I got to do it. 
But uh, yeah, go there and we'll have uh, all of uh, the Celebration of Life Foundation information, yeah. um, uh, the architect's personal information. So uh, you can go there now if you uh, if you didn't catch all that. All right, bro. Thank you so much for stopping by, man. I appreciate you, my dude. Before I get out of here, man, I need everybody to go out there support Push. Get yeah. behind Push. Call, yeah. request it. Call every radio station you know. Make sure you banging this one up. Yeah. Kino, man. <laughs> much love. You've been supporting me since day one, no man. Doubt. You know, even with the Celebration of Life. Sons of the Most High stuff. Yes, and I just want to say, man, I definitely appreciate everything that you do, bro. Anytime you need me, you know I'm there. And support push. Make sure y'all get behind me. No doubt. Keep doing what you do, man. Yeah. Once again, The Architect. Y'all get behind them and the Celebration of Life Foundation. We'll be right back with more hate for you right here on Street Sermons with Keno.